Hello guys, in this video I will be complaining about Ring 4. Yeah, we've got pretty far in the series, we've complained about Ring 1, Ring 2, Ring 3, Forgotten Ridge, and Garden of whatever that name is, I don't know. Uh, yeah, first things first about the complaining is the lobby. Like, why do they have this place? In Tower of Inception, what's the Inception here? Yeah, ha ha, you're not beating this buddy. It's because it sucks. No one wants to beat it. Then you got not even a portal to the not sky lobby. And then you got a top order to death. Which honestly sucks. They should have added a not even a not. They should have added a not even a not even a portal to the not even a not even sky lobby or something. That would have been cool, but uh, they didn't have to. Next up, the. Uh, the uh, ring, uh, the tower rush. I I was literally just wall hopping on this for no reason, and I actually found it. Uh, but yeah, ring four tower rush. If you wanna do it, I don't. Okay, first tower to complain about tower spiraling heights. The only spiraling height here is the spiraling height of my sanity, or oh, insanity. I go insane, like bro. Which way do you go? There's a path, but. Yeah, jump on top of me and make your way to the trees. Yeah, they had to add that because it was so darn confusing. Oh my. But yeah, it's actually a decent easy tower, I guess. I mean, yeah. What do you expect? What do you expect? It's an easy tower. But, um, yeah, not too much to complain about it. I mean... The colours are absolutely puke coloured. Like, bro, on the world is this mucky blue and roll up purple. Ignore Garfield over there. But yeah, not nothing too much to say about spiralling heights. The yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Go on to the next tower before the spiralling height is uh, my insanity counter. Uh, yeah. Next, next tower. When I respawn. Okay, um, next one. Tower of getting gnomed. They added a meme to the tower name, but they haven't even added the meme into the tower. Like, bruh. I've beaten this. There's no norms in it. No norms anywhere. No norms. What's the point of having a meme tower without that meme in the tower? Don't play it, guys. This tower sucks. Uh, yeah. Don't try and use. Oh, uh, yeah. Tip, tip for a uh, tower gang norm. Don't, uh. Don't go on transparent stuff. Yeah, just, just don't go on transparent stuff. Because that's more likely gonna be a button. But yeah, I feel like these complaining videos can't really be complained about anymore. Because, you know, in, there was a lot to complain about in the uh, early towers, as you probably know. But let's be honest, does anyone have anything to complain about in these towers? No, they're just boring along and... No one even knows if they're easy or not because no one plays them. Uh, yeah, Ring Four's also the tower with um worst essay. Let's just be honest. How did it pass review? Like, who who thought Tower of Inception was a good idea? What's the Inception here? People playing it. Uh, but yeah, there isn't much uh, to do with Tower of Inception. So, I, I will talk about it in its own section, which is, I don't know when. Next hour, Tower of Terrible Mondays. Terrible Monday here is when I tried doing it on Saturday. I never took any damage, and then I realised it just never showed I took any damage. I, I ended up dying on one of the last floors because it didn't show I was taking damage. So I was just walking to kill bricks. That's how I died. If you just put, if I went into kill bricks, 
that's how I died. I mean, of course that sounds stupid, but like, bruh, that's out of context. I died because it never showed me taking damage, or I never bothered to uh, not take the damage. But yeah, Tower Terrible Monday it just makes my Mondays even more terrible than they are. Uh, Garfield, Garfield is on this level, saying, haha, you can't escape Terrible Mondays. Which ain't very nice of that cat. But uh, yeah, just. This tower sucks. Don't do that. I don't have much to say about that, so. Next tower. Uh, the next tower is Tower of Elysium. You need a brain for floors 7 and 10, so I don't recommend it to my fellow dumb people. Uh, yeah, not too much to say about Tower of Elysium. It's quite easy, to be honest. Tower of Linenophobia. It's actually easy as well. Besides floor 10 and floor 9. Those tight ropes of things. You know, actually, no, it's just floor 10. Floor 10 is really hard, so, uh, yeah. I'll leave after you finish Floor 9 so you don't have to deal with Floor 10. Uh, yeah. So that's around it for Linenophobia. And as well, halfway through beating it, they realised that the tower sucked so much because there was only one idea. That they took Kilbrook Spinners and just added them everywhere from floors 5 upwards like I, i'm not gonna put too much gameplay in this video i just want to get this video over with because i've uploaded like 10 videos today half of them haven't even released yet but uh yeah i've uploaded a lot of videos today i just need to get them out and then i can f finish today's bomb the video um yeah, next tower. And that tower I am talking about, uh, I kind of forgot, I don't care. I think it's Leaning Ledges. Yep, Tower Leaning Ledges is the next one. It just sucks. Nothing really to say about it. Th there's a lot of Leaning Ledges on it, if that's what you wanted to hear. And there's just a lot of wedges that are annoying. Like, bruh, did they, another one that they just had to add, there's another one that they just named it from what they have a lot of, and in that case, it was the Leaning Ledges, and one the world is that explosion. Bruh, yeah, that, that, that's a, uh, yeah, so just don't do this tower for any difficult, and you'll be good. Uh, yeah, ne next tower. And that tower is, um, off to get the milk, actually, so we can't talk about that, uh, tower. Okay, just kidding, it's not off to get the milk. It's Sarah Dusting, aka okay, Two Dad, who is off to get the milk. Not much to say about, uh, Tara Dusting, aka, besides, well... It's not dust and decay. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Like, bro, where's the dust and decay in Tower of Dust and Decay? Despite some of the towers that I had to name it based on what the it had the most on, this tower just named off something random. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Next one. Anyway, uh, next one is Tara. Holy flare! <laughs> and what is this thing? Oh, I know what it is. Called a tower that sucks. Like, bruh. What does it think I'm gonna do? Does it think I'm gonna do a holy backflip or something? No. I'm gonna do a holy flip on my- an unholy flip on my turbo. 
I don't know what I really expected from me. There ain't much to say about it besides it being annoying when you enter it. Don't ask how it's annoying, it just is. You know that feeling when you just enter a tower and, well, you can just feel it being an annoying one? Yeah, that's the feeling you get from that one. Uh, yeah. There are nonsensical platforms, now I know why it's called that. Uh, um, uh, yeah. Not much to say about it. It's one of those towers that I was talking about. Just annoying moving platforms, basically. That perfectly, and I mean perfectly, sums up that one. Now, next up on our list is Tower Shattered Dreams, Long Lost Brother, Tower Corrupted Nightmares. And as you saw in Ring 2, uh, well, as you probably heard in Ring 2, if you watch my, uh, Ring 2 video, uh, is, I have, uh, I forgot what now. Uh, yeah. I noticed the purple kill bricks, and I automatically remembered how this is a remorseless tower, and how remorseless is, like, pink. So, yeah. Uh, Corrupted Nightmares and Shattered Dreams. They both suck. You know, uh, you know when you know a tower just sucks? Not for any reason, but it just does. Yeah, that's the feeling I get from this. Like, bro, well, let's be honest. Who, who beat this tower and thought, hey, that's a fun tower. Why don't I beat Shattered Dreams? Or if someone beat Shattered Dreams, like, oh, hey, that was fun. Why don't... I don't know, I try out, I don't know, Tower of Corrupted Nightmares. Nobody did that. Nobody likes either of those towers. Uh, yeah. That's about it for Corrupted Nightmares. Uh, yeah. Next tower. Uh, that's all the main towers out the way. Now, just for, uh... The Soul Crushing and the Citadel. Citadel first. Worst for last. Uh, Citadel of Uneasiness. Not too much to say. Like, yeah, you just gotta get somewhere. Uh, yeah. Really not much to say. It isn't too hard, you just gotta. Yeah. If you plan on beating a Citadel, I either recommend this or Callhard on Ring 3. Either one of them are gonna be alright for you. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Wacky frame. Um. Uh, yeah. Basically, just do this if you want to finish a uh, Zerda or something. Next tower. Uh, that. Alright. Uh, tower of Inception. We all know that we all hate it. I mean, like, bruh, it's just copy and pasted bricks everywhere. You know what? Comment down below if you want me to make a 15 minute video about complaining about Tower of Inception. It sucks. You know what, it near for creating this, I'm gonna call you it egg. Yeah, so this, it just sucks. It's, words can't describe how much Tower of Inception sucks. Like bruh, you got so many stuff. You see that? How are you supposed to do that? I know it's a soul crushing, but like, they just didn't even know what to do here. Like, if you know it's a bad start when you can't even do the first real jump. And then you just got a GBJ down there. You know what? For 
this tower being so bad, I am stopping this video.